All right. I share a lot of profound things, not just of my own, uh, but this world is just full of so many brilliant people with profound sentiments. And um, one meme that I shared a couple hours ago is reflective and uh, I think a very well articulated stance on something that I'm starting to believe, something that I'm starting to come around on, something that I'm starting to come to the conclusion of. And uh, so the meme says, why, why are you so quiet? What's on your mind? You know, it's one of those uh, those memes where you got the, the, the dude and it shows the thoughts inside of his brain. And, you know, sometimes it'd be like, uh, making my way downtown, walking fast. It would just be, you know, like random stuff. But what caught my attention what was what was said, I think it was just extremely profound. And it says, uh, the proper response to living in a crazy society is to traverse beyond the comfort zone of my own sanity. I need to become even more unhinged. It's time to dismantle my arbitrary standards of normality and find a higher order within the chaos which is a very articulate way of saying you have to create your own world and redefine what it means to be sane and so a lot of people myself included have come to the to the conclusion that in such an insane world you have to become insane but it's kind of like um like a paradox in a sense because it's like the more insane you become the more sane you become was, you know it's you have to be crazy enough to break free from this crazy world you have to because it's the path is laid out for you to align yourself with the system with the way that it's set up you you get along to get along you know what i mean uh the map is laid out and it's like um i'm not going to say that life is easy for easier for people who go who just go along with how it's laid out but it is laid out so you do with that information that you will you say you know, if you just follow all the common answers, it'll lead you to something, you know, uh, all the, just the, okay, um, okay, go to school, go to college, get an education, get a job that's related to the, to that degree, um, you get a, you know, you, you work, you retire, and you die. And somewhere along the way, you get married and you take vacations and stuff, 401k, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't account for other elements, other aspects of life like unhappiness and not being happy with what you do for a job and not feeling like you're actually making a difference and uh, being taxed out the ass and they keep finding new ways to take money from you. And you never have enough time to spend time with the people who matter the most. And you feel guilty for taking time out to even go to the funeral when those people die. Or you feel guilty for taking time off for your mental health or for your health or for your child's graduation or whatever it is. It's insane. You need permission to get away. From somewhere you didn't you don't even want to be you have this anxiety about losing your job or losing favor with your job don't want to be seen as unreliable don't want to be seen don't want to be uh seen as or don't want to be deemed unhirable hard to work with you know so you shave off edges of yourself for the sake of a job that doesn't even make you happy. So you're burning the candle from both ends, in a sense. 
And when you finally get time to yourself, it's spent maintaining the life that you don't even appreciate. Or I don't want to say that you don't appreciate it. You just can't appreciate it. You can't seem to enjoy it because you're. it seems like you're always behind. You're always trying to catch up. And then in your low vibrational state of sadness, depression, feeling lost, you go onto your Instagram or your Facebook or your YouTube and you see people seemingly living a life far better than yours. And sure, you'll find some people. But for the most part, it's an illusion. You compare your low lights to their highlights. Everybody's doing it. Most people are doing it. Including the people who feel the need to show you how great their life, their lives are. And, you, you know, you'd actually hope that their lives are as great as it is portrayed. But it isn't. And, uh... Whether if people give you uh, a viewpoint of luxury and great times in their videos or they don't show you much of anything. Many people, no matter what they show, lead quiet lives of uh, desperation. And so the insanity uh, that is uh, packaged up by way of doing something over and over and over again, even though it's not making you happier, you don't feel like you're making any progression. The solution to that is to shake it all up, you know? And that's why you see people that do things like they just cut off, like you see women, they just cut all their hair off and start all over. It actually makes sense to me. You just want to see something new. That's what it's about. You want to see something. You want to shake things up. Force you in a different direction. Force you to see things from a different perspective. Forced, you know, force a different conversation amongst people that you will encounter. All right? If I shave my head down the middle, that will be a conversation starter, <laughs> you know, to say the least. If I walk out and I... You definitely won't see me doing this, but if you if I happen to walk down the street wearing a dress, I'm going to hear about it. You know, the conversation will be different. All right. And so it doesn't really have to be drastic in that sense. I won't go as far as to say um, what I'm about to say is less drastic or even more. But, you know. So. What I have in mind every time I think about this. Traverse beyond the comfort zone of my own sanity. Deprivation. A deprivation of sorts. Is the solution. What do you deprive yourself of? Well, there's so many things. And you don't do it entirely. You don't have to. You don't have to do it for the rest of your life. You know? It just blocks a time where you just deprive yourself of it. If social, if you're heavy on social media, then you deprive yourself of that for a certain amount of time. If it's sugar, you push that off, you know. And with that block of time, you force yourself into un uncharted territories, you know, which doesn't necessarily... Which isn't as bad as it sounds because a lot of this uncharted territory is places that you always wanted to explore anyway. And I'm talking about places of the mind. You know, you want to be a creator. You want to be this creative person. But you've been caught up in all the stimuli around you. Now you give yourself this big void where it's like you put yourself right back into the driver's seat. The ball is in your court. And now you are approaching the world around you or your world with a different lens. Same skin you always been in. 
the perspective has changed. Eventually the landscape will change. You are putting yourself in a position where many of great thinkers before you have been. So if you can allow the dust to settle, you will realize just that, that a lot of people that you admire, they really, they cut their teeth and they've made their greatest progressions in solitude or, and or doing serious work, self-work or the task, you know, it, which could be tied together, but self-work or the task at hand. If it's playing basketball, if it's painting, if it's working on music, if it's engineering, if it's, I don't know, something mathematic related, which everything I've just said is, is related to math, really. But that's a different conversation. That's just, a you know, that's above me. Um, uh, and that's the world that I wish to explore because the world around me is not that satisfying. It's not enough. I speak for myself and many of you. It's not enough to make me want to be here. I think about it all the time with all that I hate about this world. It's how any person could stay motivated is beyond me. If you're going to have any chance at being motivated and being happy, being joyful, you got to play by your own rules. It's a game within a game. People will look at you like you're crazy, but it's necessary. And I swear there's a not a fine line, there is a thin line between genius and crazy. So tap in and see what's on the other side of that fence. All right.